In this video, we're going to walk through installing SWI Prolog on Mac OS. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually download SWI Prolog. So we're going to open up a browser and then we'll go to www.swiprolog.org. Now, once you're on this page, there's a lot of things like documentation and tutorials that you may find interesting. However, since our goal here is to install SWI Prolog, we're going to go to the download tab, select SWI Prolog. You're going to get a lot of options here. However, you're looking for a stable release. So click that, then scroll down to your OS. In this case, I'm on a Mac, so I will click this and I want to allow downloads. And after a moment, you should see the download complete. So then I can double click on the download. That'll open up the downloaded image. And then I want to take the SWI Prolog icon and copy it into my applications folder. And at that point, it should be installed. So just to double check that, I will click on Finder. And in my applications, I should see SWI Prolog. When I double click, I'm going to get a warning that it can't be opened because it can't be verified. So the way around that is hold Control, then click Open. And then I can say Open, and SWI Prolog will open. So going forward, you shouldn't need to do that. It should save an exception for SWI Prolog. Now it's installed, you should be able to start using it. Now you may notice there were some missing menus in this installation. So if you look here, you're not seeing a file menu, the settings menu, the run or debug menus. So let's see how we can get those back. In the SWI Prolog window, you can type init win menus. And when you do that, that will reset something in the GUI that gets these menus back. And you can see that now you're able to do file consult. You can update settings and you have the debug menu back. So I'm not sure exactly what causes that. I think it has something to do with a timing issue on startup with certain models of Macs or versions of the OS. But at this point, just typing init when menus should get you your menu back.